I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which we stand, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Attention all eighth graders attending the Philadelphia trip. Please turn in your green health and safety data sheet to Mr. Buner in room 9E ASAP. This form must be turned in if you want to attend the trip. The Omega Cheer and Dance Club is having a pep rally May 18th, 315 through 6 p.m. They will be honoring all schools, sports, and clubs and playing some games including tug of war, basketball, and musical chairs. Please join the Thurston Jazz and Concert Band for a night of music on Thursday, May 17th at 630 Come out and support our hardworking, talented musicians. Homework clinic is on Mondays and Thursdays in the media center from the end of school until 4.10. Go there to concentrate and get some help on your work. The money for the 8th grade Cedar Point Trail will start being collected May 9th through May 13th. Make sure you get it turned in. You don't want to miss this. We're finally having an activity night at Pierce on Friday, May 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. sponsored by the Pierce PTO. Cost is $10 and paid PTO students only pay $5. Students must have their school ID to attend. The following Friday is the 8th grade dance. $5 to get in. Dress to impress. Good morning, Pierce students. My name is Miss Maria and I am one of the school social workers here at Pierce. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and the counselors and social worker staff here at Pierce want to give all students a friendly reminder. At the beginning of the school year, the counselors and social workers met with every class, and we discussed how students tend to use strong language when they get upset. Phrases such as, I want to kill myself, I wish I could die, I wish I was dead, should not be a part of a person's everyday vocabulary. These phrases should never be said as casual language. When a peer staff person hears this language, they have no choice but to refer the student who made the concerning statement to the counseling office to receive a mental health screening. This consists of a series of personal questions regarding why you made the statement and a chance for you to share whatever you feel the need to share at the time. It also includes a phone call home to ensure that your parent or guardian is aware that you need some help getting through some emotional times. There are people who are actually feeling extreme emotions and who really do not know where to turn to. The counselors and social workers are here for anyone who needs their support and guidance. So please do not take up their time completing a mental health screening that you don't really need. Remember, we all go through emotional times. Let's try to learn how to control our emotions and not let our emotions control us. Thank you and have a great day, everyone.